Hello guys, welcome back to the world of English exams. So I hope all of you are staying home and staying safe and you're preparing well for your INTS test. So we have been getting a couple of requests on our website uh, to explain what are the advantages and uh, the basic format of the ILTS computer delivered test and uh, that's the reason for making this video. I wanted to share some basic information that is related to the advantages as well as the format. I mean the timing and the uh, different types of questions. What is actually similar uh, between the ILTS paper based test and the computer delivered test. So let's start today's video but before that Please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't done it already and if you watch our previous videos we are uh, releasing videos every week so that more and more students can get helped uh, by us and maybe you can even share this video with your friends so that even they can be helped. So let's start the video. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to discuss is the format of the test. So. Uh, I don't want to complicate the scenario, just wanted to make it very simple and direct. So the test format is more or less the same as the uh, regular, the conventional pen and paper based test uh, with small changes. Let's look at it briefly. For those, I assume that this video is also being watched by uh, people who are new to the test and they do not know anything about the format. So I hope this will help them to understand, to get an idea about the format of the INTS test. So the test is divided into four parts. That is the listening, reading, writing and the speaking test. So there are two modules in the test depending on the reason why the test is taken. For, in for instance, if a student wants to study in a native English speaking country and he or she belongs to a non-native English speaking country, then the appropriate module for them is the academic module. So academic itself means education or something related to studies. So uh, if the purpose of taking the test is to migrate, settle and work in a foreign country where English is the primary uh, language used for communication then in that case you have to go for the general training module of course it is need specific I mean to say it varies from one person to another so depending on the requirement you need to choose the module appropriately but regardless of whether you are going for the academic test or the general training test these four parts of the test will remain unchanged that is you will have to write the listening test reading writing and speaking you need to attempt all the four sections and score well in all of them so that your aggregate score uh, which will reflect on your test report form or the certificate that you get for the ILTS test uh, will be high I mean your score will be what you desire to get so, so uh, your overall score will be given in the range of band 0 to 9 which means you can get up to band 9 so that's the maximum while the minimum is 0 so there is no pass or fail in the test it just depends on the required the score that is required so now let's quickly jump into the test format in the listening test just like in the paper based test there will be a total of 40 questions which are divided into four parts so previously they used to refer them as sections but recently as of January 2020 uh, they started calling it as parts so which means you're going to hear it as part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 respectively so there would be 10 questions in each part of course because there are a total of 40 questions and four parts which indicates that you will attempt 10 questions in each section so the sections are going to be heard and you have to keep writing the answers simultaneously now since this is the computer delivered test you are not given an answer sheet so you will have to type your responses and if you require some uh, you know time to read the questions don't worry about it the INTS test is so well streamlined that you will be given some time to read the questions as well so before you hear the audio you will get some time to read the questions and the good news is that you don't need to read all the questions at once because of course there is a possibility that you might not remember everything that you've read 
So the situation is like this. The test will have uh, pauses at regular intervals so that you can easily skim i mean you can refer to the question and if the question has any options for instance you have question types like multiple choice where you need to also look at the options so the time will be sufficient to read all those but having said that you need to improve your speed along with accuracy so that is the secret to get the perfect score that is band 9 in the listening test and another good news is that you do not have any sort of negative marking in the test so you don't need to worry even if you get an answer wrong you won't lose any marks that you have previously scored in the test so the approximate time varies i mean it is from 30 to 34 minutes it's in between 30 and 34 minutes so that's the usual time that you get so and this will also include two minutes of time at the end of the test so if you have previously taken the paper based test uh, it is known to you that you are going to get 10 minutes at the end of the test to check your answers to verify whether you have written the spelling right or maybe the word count is right or wrong so these are the little things that can change your score drastically so pay attention to these minute details and in the case of the computer delivered test all you're going to do is type your responses or maybe you can select it from the drop down or you can drag the answers there are there are various feasible options for you in the test so you will just get two minutes of time at the end of the test to verify whether you've written all the answers and if they uh, are in accordance with the format and the instructions that are mentioned in the uh, paper in the screen so basically uh, the listening test is more or less common for both the formats whether it is the paper based test or the computer delivered test so now X, X, uh, the only thing that's an exception is that you are going to just get two minutes in the case of computer delivered test while it is the regular 10 minutes at the end of the test in the case of paper based exam so let's proceed to the next section which is the reading test so usually the test will begin with listening then it would be followed by the reading test the reading test is where you are going to be seeing some comprehension passages that is these passages could be taken from a book or a journal or an article a newspaper anywhere so you will be seeing big passages i mean the length will vary depending on the academic and the general training test so in the case of the academic test the passages are expected to be longer in comparison with those passages that you see in the general training test so the length of the passages is shortened in the case of the general training reading test while it is lengthier in the case of academic reading so this is one thing that you need to remember so followed by the comprehension passages you will get to see different types of questions like fill in the blanks multiple choice uh, matching short answer questions and many more so if you want to know the details of the individual question types related to the reading test or listening or writing or speaking we have tons of videos available on our youtube channel world of english exams you may refer to our playlist in which we have clearly organized the various question types with examples and solved tests as well so you can check the playlist on our channel so you will have a total of 40 questions and you will get 60 minutes that is one hour of time to finish the uh, reading test please remember that no additional time will be given in the reading test unlike the listening test so in the listening test i told you previously that you are going to get two minutes at the end this extra additional time will not be given in the case of the reading test so make sure that you are attempting the questions as you read uh, just make sure that you are answering all the 40 questions in the set time so uh, of course just like in the listening test there is no negative marking in the reading test as well after you complete the reading test uh, you will have to write so that is the third section of the test which is the writing test so regardless of the module every candidate every test taker has to complete two tasks in the writing test the first task will differ and the second task is the same so the first task 
if you are taking the academic module will be a report so you will see various pictorial representations um, or uh, maybe you can also see some uh, diagrammatic illustrations like bar charts pie charts line graphs maps tables and many other forms of data representations and you will have to write a, a brief report of uh, a minimum of 150 words please remember this word count as it is very essential that you meet the word limit of 150 words anything lesser than that will be counted as uh, a factor to penalize you that I mean the score will reduce drastically so make sure that you are attaining that word limit and very soon if you're going to uh, watch the video till the end there is a speciality for the computer delivered test uh, which I'm going to reveal shortly so stay tuned till the end in the case of the general training test, the first task is where you have to write a letter based on the prompt that is given. There are different types of letters like formal letters, semi-formal letters, informal letter. So depending on the kind of letter that you get, I mean depending on the question you need to understand, you need to uh, know what kind of letter it is and based on that you have, you have to write the letter. Again the word count will remain as a minimum of 150. There is no upper word limit but ensure that you are not exceeding something like 180 to 190 words so that is something that you need to remember then the second task is where you will have to write an essay the, this task is common for both the academic module and the general training module only thing is that the question given will differ but the types of essays the uh, different types of essays you know the uh, structure and everything remains the same uh, here in the task one, I told you that you need to write at least 150 words. This word limit is 250 in the case of task two. That is, your essay should have a word count of a minimum of 250 words. Of course, there is no upper limit. So, the time that is given for the writing test is one hour, 60 minutes, just like in the case of the reading test. So, now the last section Again, this is an advantage for those who are taking the computer delivered test because in the paper based test, uh, usually the speaking test is not conducted alongside the other three parts. So you, the, a candidate will have to uh, spend two days of time for one, one day for the listening, reading and writing and another day for the speaking test, which is just about 10 to 15 minutes. I mean, the approximate time is 11 to 14 minutes. but it varies depending on the topic that you get and depending on the number of follow-up questions that are asked. So the usual time is 11 to 14 minutes and the advantage of this uh, INTS computer delivered test will be discussed shortly and you definitely have a clear advantage in the case of the computer delivered test. Now let's discuss the format here. The speaking test is conducted as I told you for a period of 11 to 14 minutes in which uh, there would be three parts. The test is divided into three parts. The first part is called as the interview and introduction. So where uh, the candidate has to introduce himself or herself by giving uh, his identification document and later some basic questions related to everyday uh, life like uh, hobbies and places of interest and as such other common familiar topics will be asked. Then the discussion will move on to part two. This is where a candidate will have to speak for two minutes at a stretch. That's the reason it's known as the individual long term. So there is, there is no format like, you know, the examiner asking you some questions and you answering them. It's not like that. Here a topic will be given to you, which is followed by four follow-up questions. I mean, four hints uh, or four clues. So you will have to explain about the topic, talk continuously or uninterruptedly uh, about the topic for one or two minutes or till you are stopped by the examiner. And depending on the topic that you get in part two, the same topic will be discussed in detail in the part three, which is known as the detailed analytical discussion. So uh, in the first part, you will have to talk for about four to five minutes. I mean, you need to answer the questions that the examiner is going to put. Then in the second part, you are going to get one minute of time to note, uh, I mean, if you want to write down any points that you would like to discuss, maybe you, can, you will be given a pen and a paper and you will have to uh, write, you, will ha you can write. And the part three is again 
a question and answer kind of question something like an interview so but remember that the speaking test is not virtual it's not digital you will have to attend the speaking test with a real certified examiner so that is of course another advantage uh, of the computer delivered test but the same thing follows even if in the case of the paper based test i hope that i was able to give you a, a brief picture of the test format if you have any more doubts or maybe any further clarifications you can just drop a comment in the comment section below and i will answer your questions as soon as possible now i will quickly end the video by showing you some advantages of the computer delivered test so the most important and the primary thing that many candidates will have in their mind is the test dates so now of course uh, due to the ongoing pandemic we are witnessing uh, that a scenario that the paper based tests are not being conducted at all places but the computer delivered tests have started in certain areas so please check the official website of the british council or idp to know whether computer delivered test is actually being conducted in the place where you live but definitely as compared with the paper based test there are more dates and of course varied time slots as well um, on any given day usually the scenario is like this in the morning you will have a session of the test in the afternoon there will be another session in the evening also there would be another session so depending on the uh, time that is feasible to you you may go ahead and book the test so this is one benefit of taking the computer delivered test and the second thing after you write the test uh, in the case of the paper based test it takes 13 days for the results to be viewed online so let's imagine that you are going to give the test tomorrow 13 days from tomorrow will be your test result date in the case of the paper based test because the exam scripts have to be evaluated manually in the case of the writing test particularly so that since in the computer delivered test you are typing you are going to type your response it's much simpler and faster so faster results that's the second advantage it just takes about 5 to 7 business days in the case of the computer delivered tests to get your results so then uh, one more thing is that the number of test takers per session is strictly limited yes in the case of the paper based test you will see that uh, maybe 100 or more than that you will see many people writing the test along with you in the same hall whereas that is not the case with the computer delivered test uh, depending on the number of systems that are available uh, each of you will be assigned an individual computer along with all the accessories so limited number of test takers per session then uh, i told you that there is a clear advantage in the case of the writing and speaking test i am going to discuss that now so uh, previously i told you that the speaking test is usually not conducted alongside the other sections of the test in the case of the paper based exam but if you are going to take the computer delivered test you may have a chance of finishing the whole test on the same day so people who are who have to travel uh, maybe a few hundred of kilometers will definitely see that this is an advantage they can come they can finish the whole test on the same day and uh, that's the end of the story from their side so in the case of the writing test the advantage is that you will have an automatic display of word count in the case of the paper based test you will have to count the words individually manually but that time can be saved if you are taking the computer based test this the number of words that you are going to type will be displayed at the bottom of the screen just up below the box where you are going to type your answers so this uh basically summarizes the kind of advantages and benefits that a test taker will have by taking the computer delivered test so i hope that you have understood the format clearly as well as the advantages of taking the computer delivered test and now i know that you are going to make a wise decision and depending on uh, your comfort your um, feasibility and your convenience i hope that all of you are going to choose 
the mode of test take test properly and attempt the test with confidence and get your desired score if you found this video useful please do like the video share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel world of english exams if you wish to get many more useful videos like this please ring the bell icon and you will get instant notifications whenever we post a new video on our channel so till i see you with an other interesting video about the ielts test stay tuned to our channel and happy preparation guys